Hey guys, it's Vince. Today in this video, you can see I've got the back of a client system here. And what I'm working on doing is installing a touch play form because again, all my systems you know are custom. There's never one client system that's usually the same. Everybody has different requests. That being said, um, I get a lot of questions on how do you shield one lead only or what's my preferred method of shielding one lead only. Now, if you're dealing with a plasma system, plasma systems may have three or four inputs being used because they're utilizing a THC. In this instance, we're only going to shield one particular lead and that particular lead is for uh, a touch plate. So you can see right here is a terminal block on the G540. You've got pin number one right here, pin number 12 back here. Again, uh, due to the fact that we're only working with one signal that we want to filter, I'm using my trusty 18 gauge silicone wire along with my ferrites. One, two, and then of course three right here. And why I like this setup, and you can see how flexible this is. When this back panel is installed, this wire goes right underneath the fan. Everything stays nice and neat, and you're totally able to service the system. Once again, removing the back plate. So again, you guys can utilize this method on as many drives as you have. If you have individual signals, this is the fastest way, without a doubt, to provide a bulletproof signal. Whether you want to purchase the ferrites yourself, if you need custom built ferrite uh, cables, let me know. Again, I do do them. Um, but overall, this is the simplest format, and you know that everything here will be properly shielded without the requirement of actually running a ground. Because again, as you see the GX16 over here, she's kind of hidden. When she runs over, I have one ground coming off the GX16, and this is from his double shielded cable going to his touch plate. But if you shield this with traditional shielding, of course, you'd also have the ground drain that would have to be attached somewhere. Using ferrites, once again, keeps everything clean, and you've got a nice passive filtration system, and you don't have to worry about the extra work. So again, I hope this video has been helpful. I'm going to be doing uh, quite a bit more, of course. I've got a lot of work going on in the shop right now, but I know I've been receiving many questions on this, so I definitely hope it helps you all. To all my subscribers, I love you guys. If you had questions or quotes, once again, message me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com or my eBay store, eDealers Direct. Of course, you'll see the link in the description. You'll see that pop up, and you guys will be all set. Thank you again for your time. Take care.